light on me. Uh, the initial notes uh, details. This is the first sentence. I'm not doctoring this at all. Azima is impossible to copy. Her, <laughs> Her present day clothing is completely unobtainable for players. <laughs> if attempting to copy your past style from the Shattering era, however, she was wearing a witch hat, Marduk's jubah, Marduk's Dastanas, Marduk's shalwar, and Sorcerer's Sabbath. Yeah, you, you, you can't get those anytime quickly. <laughs> All right, what does she got for us? Oh, look, another adventure in desperate need of the most accurate fashion advice. Tell me, what can the stylist extraordinaire Brigid recommend for you? No, don't answer that, for I already know why you've come. My catwalk could use a model just like yourself. What kind of show? I've convinced all the movers and shakers in Bansog to assist me in holding the most amazing fashion show the city, no, all of Vanadil has ever seen. The city is hoping that this initiative will help stimulate the local economy <laughs> and bring in people from far and wide to spend, spend, spend. <laughs> you see, fashion does not discriminate between creed or place of origin, and I firmly believe that there is an outfit for everyone. But I'm having trouble finding people to lend themselves to the cause. If I didn't know better, I'd think people were mistaking my honest critiques for cruel barbs, curled by an uncaring judge. Yet fashion can at times be uncompromising, and that's where you come in. Assist me, and I promise that I'll come up with a perfect disguise for your friend Rayburn. Did we talk about Rayburn? How'd she know his name? After all, if I can help you, then... If I can't help you, then who can? Sure. Perfect. Then let's get right down to business. The official name of this show is... The First Annual Bringing Cosplay Fiesta. Cosplay? Let me know if you want to hear more. But here's where I want you to do in the short term. Decide on someone after whom you want to model your costume. This is going to be the best fashion show ever. What is happening? All right, so who can we pick from? So who are our options here? So Azima, Naji, Naji, Black Mud. Oh, it depends on your race as well. This particular show really focuses on our particular famous people from here in the city. So you have to choose the one that's your that's your same race. It pains me to say this, but some of the best choices have already been taken by other participants. Is that real or just like text fluff? I think that's just text. Also, quote, don't choose some hick from Rebeo. Yeah, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, I got the same suggestions. Zima, the esteemed master of alchemy. Naji, yeah. the famous from Musketeer. Are any of these Tartars? I think she said, like, it, it doesn't matter who you choose. Like, yeah. that, like if Ataru wants to dress up as a, as a Mithra, that's fine, yeah. she said. I'm going to do Naji if I can, because they probably have the mystical Mistral Month Kutira armor on, which we can buy off Signet points. Good point, actually. I'm feeling good yeah, about I'm... Nibu Leta. I'm going Black up. Mud, because I, I know what he mud. looks like. I need to look up these people. Shit. Ah, oh, Nibu Leta's where it's at. So once, no once we've got our outfit as good as we get it, we've got to go to port the stuff. So uh, yep. let's all go shopping for some clothes. Let's go shopping! <laughs> let's do shopping! Oh my god. These clothes what? are going to be so what fucking expensive. Happening? I don't know, we probably just after ourselves right in the cornhole. It's going to be like, guys. pick anybody but Najee. Anyone but Najee. <laughs> all the guys would be like, we really recommend that you don't pick any of these people. And in fact, just stop playing the game. <laughs> That'll be the fastest right. way for you to get over this crushing defeat. Where is Naji? I actually chose Azuma, so I have no fucking clue what to do. Texture, there you are. Hands and their leg texture, you can Let's see all get a good look. Get in the car, uh, loser. We're going shopping. Yeah, I'm, right, I'm, I'm struggling. To, I'm pretty sure it's going to be Sparks here. You guys that's what totally I'm, that's what I'm thinking too. the boo here. I, th th I've never seen gear like this guy's. Where maybe it's just like the pants. He's right, like... everybody, everybody post a picture of your your character, the gear you need in chat, and we can we can collab this. Mine's just a bunch of like level five subligar and scale mail. But God, imagine if you burn like sparks out this week. Oh, Hunter, you got it easy. You got centurion boots. Yep. You got you got the the level 
ten boots and pants, and then boots and pants, and boots and pants and boots. Yeah, I, Azima. I I oh my god, I have no I, idea, bro. I picked yeah, it I really what, easy. Yeah, I, I think you're, I think that's one. like two pieces of culinary, like expert expert culinary gear. Oh right. my gosh! Wait, wait. Can you like Azima? quit immediately? What the hell is that stuff? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Is that even gear that uh... the player can get? Uh, chat, if anybody could help with how to get Azima's gear set, uh, I've never before it. seen it in game. I'm done. I'm quitting the game. <laughs> oh Jesus! Here we go. Do it. Here we go. Just do it. It's pretty. Yeah, it's pretty stocks. Wait, there's an ethereal Moogle in here. Maybe he. Maybe he sells it. No. So he'll. He'll give you crystals. Oh my god. Man, I, you guys are gonna really wish that you'd pick Naboo Letta, who's wearing the most basic. Uh, you're you're done, the dude. Game. You're I'm basically. Done. I'm walking back. Jesus. I don't think she's wearing any gloves. I think I'm set. I think they all aren't wearing any gloves, right? Epic probably did, has gloves. That, no, yeah, no. Mine has some strappy sandals, though. Who picked Azima? Me. Epic. Wow. <laughs> so, I, oh, no. are, are you sitting down? Are you sitting down? Ah, <sighs> light on me. Uh, the initial notes. Uh, details. This is the first sentence. I'm not doctoring this at all. Azima is impossible to copy. Her, <laughs> Her present day clothing is completely unobtainable for players. <laughs> if attempting to copy your past style from the Shatterrain era, however, she was wearing a witch hat, Marduk's jubah, Marduk's Dastanas, Marduk Shalwar and Sorcerer's Sabbath. Yeah, you, you you can't get those anytime <laughs> quickly. I just I just go to <laughs> Port Bastard. I, I'm I, just suspect, going to the... I suspect it's gonna be a case of well you did a shit job with carrying the missions. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's usually what happens in these. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? So the other what details the Nibuleta I picked. Uh... Is the first one that's listed. It's certainly the easiest and cheapest outfit to copy. <laughs> She's only right, wearing right. a bronze heart and scale creases and scale grease. Uh, Naji is some details. Black mud is some details. Uh, Mikea is some details. But literally, Azima is the only one where it's like, it's impossible. Uh, it's not physically capable for you to actually copy the gear that the character is wearing. What? So, can you send me the link to this? Yeah, I can. I just want to get the gear. That is fair. Epic. Yeah, I, 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 I don't know how. I don't know how you managed to do that. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Well, I'm at the steaming sheep. Nothing's happening. The thing said Rwanda, but I'm in the steaming sheep. I don't see someone go Rwanda. She's she's out front. She's out front. I'm getting a cutscene with nothing on. Uh, <laughs> I, nice. I hope you're getting a cutscene that says, "Wow, <laughs> you didn't even <laughs> fucking try." <laughs> you didn't try. We expected some. Black Mage Relic gear and this is gonna be hilarious. <laughs> oh my god. Look at this shit! What is happening? Quendi, you can change who you try to copy. I was gonna suggest that, but I'd rather for him to just <laughs> fail really utterly. Threats, guys. We go, guys. So Welcome to Steamy Sheep, home of the finest cuisine Bastok has to offer. Today we're pleased to be hosting the first annual Brigid Cosplay Fiesta. I'm ready to go. Ready to be judged. Judge me! Judge me, Renda! I look just like Nibuleta. <laughs> Wait, is that Sid? Sid hanging out here? Wow, what a performance! Yes, words absolutely fail me at how your outfit accentuates your, um, curves. Well, a job well done, even though I would normally hope for something a little more family friendly. You're not going to get that with me. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, things are really starting to heat up in today's event, with people coming from far and wide to show all Bastok that they've got what it takes to become our champion. Who will be next to take the stage and wow us with their devastatingly accurate and altogether embarrassing representation of famous Bastokers? Bastokers? Hey, I don't think embarrassing is the best word to use here. Thanks, Ken. <laughs> Wait, Ken. It's literally like, it's gotta be a Barbie and Ken reference. 
Our next three contestants are ready to take the stage. Here they come, so give them a big round of applause. Yes, feast your eyes on those wonderful reimaginings of real life stars. Ogle them from head to toe and take in every last nook and cranny of their delectable forms. Delectable? Uh, uh, oogle? D delectable? Jen. He's pretty delectable. Oh my god, yes. Nailed Azim. You nailed it. Is that Zide? <laughs> Zide up here? <laughs> you all did such fantastic jobs, I would have mistaken you for the real thing. Let's cut now to the judges and see what their frank assessments are. Judges, take it away. Sid, wow, I can't believe that someone would actually choose Azima. Perhaps the stuffiest woman in all of this. <laughs> When I see your stunning profile as wrinkled and gnarled as the old oak tree mere moments before it is felled by the lumberjack. Well spoken, Sid, with your creepy ass teeth. I think back on my own mother, may she rest in peace. What are you blabbering on about talking about me like I'm some old hack? <laughs> if it isn't the esteemed Azima herself, here to give us her frank assessment of our challenger. Oh no, you don't escape that easily, young lady. I heard every word you said. <laughs> no, 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 don't hurt me. I was just providing some colorful commentary. <laughs> this is amazing. What? What is happening? Azima, hmm, I don't suppose I could give you an honest opinion. <laughs> Try learning some respect for your elders. Look at the fire in her eyes, obviously a reflection of the pile of hot garbage she sees before her! Hey, I did my best! Oh my god, this is amazing! Azima is so <laughs> Marin, and yet another catastrophic failure abandons the stage. Azima's biting tongue remains too much to bear. Baron, and yet an <laughs> Azima. I can't believe youngsters these days. Judges, like one I gotta, I gotta work on my Azima voice. It's gotta be like I can't believe youngsters these days. <laughs> Baron, don't let this put a damper in your spirit, folks. For the show must go on. Root Radio, right what's going on? Thanks so much for the follow. <clears throat> Baron, feast your eyes on our next model—a true sight to behold. Why? Look at the aura of loserness emanating from him. Absolutely true to the original. <laughs> <laughs> Can't you be a little more positive? Look at Hayden over here. Ken. Let's hear from one of our female judges. Hilda? Oh my God. Uh, uh, is that Najee? Wow! If she really thinks that's Najee, the costume must be perfect. <laughs> hey, Ken, you're, you're finally starting to sound like a real MC. <laughs> MC? Oh <laughs> well, given how much you've talked over me across the oh, years, I've uh, got some unfortunate news. Najee was scheduled to give a few words, but I'm afraid he can't be here today. Oh no, what a terrible turn of events. But uh, our audience remains unfazed by this unexpected twist. Because they're not paying attention. Y yet someone just like him is right up there on the stage. Ah, you mean to say that our contestant is close enough to be the real Najee? <laughs> or, to put it another way, everything would have turned out the same with or without Najee here. I don't think you should be putting words in her mouth. Anyway, thank you, Najee. I'm sure your efforts will be reflected in your final score. So, <laughs> is that actually Najee? Is that what's going on here? <laughs> this is absolutely ridiculous, and I'm loving every second of it. That's it's, amazing. It's, it's fantastic. Yeah. Baron, and next we've got. What is this? Zide. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing costume. This is clearly the pinnacle of mankind's achievement. You don't know how difficult it was to get a hold of all this rare equipment. Is that Dark Knight artifact? <laughs> all that mithril set me back an arm and a leg. Mithril? You do cut an impressive pose, to be sure, but there's something about you that isn't quite. Zide. <laughs> That's great, man. I, they were like, 
what the fuck is this? And it's like a wind blew across and a leak. Oh, I got that too, but then the guy came in and it was like, yeah, no, it was Zide. Ah, yes, now that's more like the Zide I know. This costume is absolutely perfect. You should follow this young man's lead and make your Zide outfit more like his. You there, I'm enlisting you into our little show. Come up onto the stage. Yes, you. Come on. Being asked to participate in such a wonderful show is quite the honor. Get your rear in gear. I, uh, just came here to talk to Ogby. Of course, of course. What Ogby thinks of your outfit is quite important indeed. So take the stage and hear just what he thinks of your getup. I picture Zide as being voiced by uh, a guy who does Brock Sampson. Ugby, I'd uh, really rather prefer to talk someplace quieter. So judges, what do you have to say about this magnificent Zide costume? I don't think I've ever seen a more impressive Zide. Everything is just as it should be. The way you walk, the way you talk, it's uncannily close to the real thing. Wherever did you get such wonderful equipment? It's absolutely marvelous. I don't think the real Zide is supposed to be in Bastok right now. Why, even Ogby is fooled by the realism that our newest contestant exudes. Spectacular! Why, Zide alike, I think our judges are beyond impressed by the extent of your efforts. What the heck is going on? It's like you're actually him. <sighs> Well, I'd love to be able to chit-chat with you more, Zyda. Like, we've got some things, some more contestants to get through. And without further ado, here's our next challenger, Nabuletta. Is it me? There I am. Yeah, I don't know what Sid's doing here. Why, this is the costume to end all costumes. Look at how he positively gleams with radiance. I bet our maven of fashion, Brigitte, is brimming with pride at how you've really helped bring the show together. Quite impressed at how you've made Nebu let it really come to life. Yes, it's astonishing. Perhaps because you shared a bond as adventurers? Yeah. Not because she has the cheapest equipment in the game. Nebu Lata is an adventurer? Really? In the flesh, she's as fast as the famished Chocobo and never lets prey loot her. That's odd. I have stories from the guards that... You know what? Forget I said anything. Thank you for your assessment, judges. Normally, we'd ask Nebu Lata to come here and say a few words herself, but she's a bit tied up at the moment. Wait, are they suggesting that she's, uh... Nah, I'm not going to say anymore. So instead, we've got her fan club here to comment on her behalf. Ruletta has a fan club? Ah, hello, I'm Roletta, here on behalf of my mother. Hey, Ro. Or oh, aren't you just the cutest thing? I could gobble you right up. Maybe I should trade my brother for you. That wouldn't be so bad. <laughs> If I do a really good job, she said she'll let me have some cake, so I'll try my hardest. Oh, how precious and well-behaved you are. We might just have some cookies for you, too. Baked fresh by Hilda herself. Why, I could even give my brother for one of those chewy delights. I'm like, everyone just hates Ken. <laughs> Ken, that doesn't sound half bad. <laughs> Mr. Adventurer. Thanks for doing so well. I'm assuming Epic is just getting reamed with his worst costume ever right now. That's all. That's right, everyone. Looks like our cute little friend is done for now. A big round of applause. <laughs> I was watching the whole time, Jeroy. It must have been tough coming up with your outfit, but I think you did a great job. Brigid was pleased too, so she's sure to help us get a really great disguise for Raybrim. <laughs> Thank you for participating today. <laughs> we're still tallying up the judges' score, so hang on just a little while longer. Even those who didn't place highly will receive a token reward from Brigid herself, so be sure to connect with her soon. Take care. Thanks, Marin. Rose the Dragon, new story content indeed, and it is hysterical. Gotta head out myself. See you shortly. Cornelia, I want you back in my party. Be my trust. Yeah, yeah. 
It's, it's true. It's fun, actually. It's a night of fun, and then you move on. Are you saying I should have been playing this game more back in, like, 2014? Yeah. Oh, okay. Like, more um, like 2008, when we didn't do any missions ever, because we couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> so, I had you guys kind of muted. That was yeah, hysterical. Did you even talk to Brigitte yet? No, no I'm still... To yeah, I gotta oh, run okay. back to Brigitte. Yeah, that's really important. You got, the, you got a great cutscene. Yep, there's a but, really important cutscene, actually. Can we talk about all the little aspects of that last cutscene? The fact that Ken is Hayden and everybody just shat on him the entire time. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> God, it's the classic key. The classic Q male. The entire first portion of it was about how dumb anybody would be to pick Azima. And then Azima basically <laughs> being the best character ever and slamming an exact replica of herself. <laughs> Just ruin, ruin the full guy. Then the Galka showing up in the Dark Knight artifact with no pants. With an actual it was, side. It felt like a stab at Dark Knights and Humes, really. It was a huge stab at Hayden specifically. Yeah, it really felt like... <laughs> They're like, how many ways can we just, like, mess with Hayden? I'm sorry that I've said negative things about the community team. <laughs> Couple Dark Knight insults. Uh, let's get Zyde in here. Zyde just shows up, oh, what the fuck is this? Gosh. I was really worried that... This, I was really worried that this was going to be, like, uh, really half-hearted and crappy. I thought that was amazing. That was, that new was hilarious. Yeah, the new got music. New battle music, which Mog is gonna properly capture with his third character, because we're awful people. Sorry, yeah, Mog. Yeah, obviously. We're awful, obviously. No, I, I, to be fair, I didn't realize until we were literally murdering his face. So I opened with a fire shot. I was going, like, <laughs> I wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, kill him in fire! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here goes, here goes Brigid. Yeah, I did 30,000 damage on the Volt Strike, so sorry. Jesus. <laughs> well, look who it is. I'm impressed and even a little bit surprised at how much you helped my show be a rousing success. You must be dying to know what the final score was, no doubt, and I've got that information in hand right now. Zai better have won. The score reflects not only the authenticity of the outfit itself, but also how much you were able to get the crowd's blood pumping. Let's see how you did. You placed two out of however many contestants we had. Pretty good. Many of our participants got a little too caught up in the technicalities of their outfits and completely forgot that attitude and demeanor are a huge part of what makes the fashion world go round. And all you did isn't really what matters. I've got a reward for you just the same. Thanks, Brigid. Stay healthy and be happy. So I better have been number one. I'm sure you must be curious about Rayburn. Don't worry, I intend to fulfill my promise. I've got the perfect disguise that'll fool even the most astute of goblins. But a picture is worth a thousand words, no? Hold on just a moment. It's his picture. <laughs> Why such a wonderful goblin out? There's no way you'll be targeted. Aren't I just the... <laughs> What? Yeah, I should probably co contribute to that. So she just, she just threw that on him, huh? <laughs> yeah, the that, perfect disguise. The fashionista came up with that. Wow. <laughs> we're, we're screwed, guys. Yeah, really? <laughs> it's the last place they'd look, though. The guy dressed as a goblin. So, initial thoughts. I'm into it. I think it's really cool. Uh, I, I really enjoyed it. It was it was campy and fun, but the cutscene effort was amazing. Music, like I, I was blown away. Really, it was great. Hey, thoughts? I'm just gonna send them over Twitter right now. You you sent? <laughs> Hayden's tweeting out his thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> he just keeps sending pictures. Of the <laughs> <laughs> just gets more and more zoomed in. <laughs> Amazing. It's like a fully Amazing. grown person next to it's such a weird proportions <laughs> next to the yeah. child Hume. Like it's yeah. so bizarre. So weird. We're making some job decisions. Mike, I guess I'm paladin. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? What? I mean we're doing it looks like everybody's we're doing tier twos. I just I, came out I, I just came out to help with this Mir Miru fight. Uh, okay. Cause it's like shit on Miru. 
Yeah, well, he's gonna shit on this server is what's gonna happen. Uh, oh you know, you gotta God. kill this guy five times in a row to get the 100 points per run of... Uh, okay, I'll of come out. Invasion. Yeah, Domain Invasion. Yeah, that's what we going to. If, I mean, if we're... I don't want this to, like... I, I didn't... I was just kind of fucking around until we're ready to fight the stuff we're fighting, so... But you that's made fine. it like the server depended on it, so I felt obliged. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Defend the server! Defend the server! Oh, Alright, my thoughts are pretty much, you know, I was saying earlier to Morgan, I think just like, it felt really polished. Like, I'm impressed with them even having a cutscene is, I think, a big win. Yes. Yeah. In favor of it being a pretty high quality experience. I mean, you yeah, know, it was campy and funny, which means they took some time, you know, writing it and some thought went into it. Um, just, to, and they're just setting up the characters, right? Like, right yeah. now. Bit, so. Oh, yeah, I mean, I, I think, from my perspective, on a scale of, like, ultimate hype to that was awful, ultimate hype is, like, the first Promethea cutscene, where you zone into the tower and see, yeah. like, the Bahamut cutscene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this was, like, really well done, and my biggest fear was that the writing would seem dumb. And the first, the first little interaction with Cornelio, where he's like, I don't know, I think it's very important to have schooling and uh, the importance of social interaction and politically what it drives in, in the mind of a child. I was like, okay, so this is going to suck. And then, like, they immediately dropped that and just got into funnier, cooler stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. Like, I like that they're clearly, like, um, I mean, just the, some of the best characters that you know and love from this game are because of those kind of funny cutscenes and funny situations Absolutely. that create. Oh, 100%. Yeah. So it's nice seeing that kind of writing and that approach. Yeah, I mean, that cutscene, it, you know, wasn't wasn't a Bahamut cutscene, but it was really well done and very unique and, like, gave it a ton of flavor and has me excited to see where this ridiculous story goes. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, on the grand scale of, you know, iteration to story content, you know, it might have been a little short, given, given how long it's been since we've had a new story, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's only, it's only yeah. been like four well, years and we got a fashion show, but you know, that's okay. I think it's, if we're going to have that each month to do, I think that's going to be a really fun thing to look yeah, forward yeah. to each month, you know? And like, I'd rather have years. it like that than, yeah, two for, two, for two years. Did you I see mean, it in today's uh, YouTube video that they put out there? I always forget what it's called, but the thing that they do every the month. Digest. The Digest. They actually did say, um, you know, a bunch of story mission content leading up to the 20th anniversary. Yeah. 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 So yeah, I, right, I don't know if before today, and if they had, I just missed it. They had linked them, and it was more like I was... I thought it was all conjecture that we were hoping it was leading up to the 20th anniversary. Yeah, they But they might still be separate. Is, but, yeah. No, no, yeah. It's all tied it's, together, which is cool. Yeah. So, Hunter, if you do a Wings of the Goddess mission, three of them a month for the next two years, you might finish it at I the might same time. In, I might be in time, yeah. <laughs> I did a couple the other day. Nice. All right. White clouds, weird city off in the distance. What could it be? I don't know. Maybe it's that one city that we were supposed to go to that one time and never did. Creepy demon spawn with weird boot butt caterpillar butt chasing after them. One has a staff. Is it a Yagudo? I don't know. Maybe it's those things from Zarkabard. Giant crystal and blue tower. What tower is that? I'm not sure. It reminds me of that time we climbed that horrible thing in that place with the weird spiders that come out of the cracks that aren't really spiders. <laughs>